So I'm going to show you in this part of the video how you connect your get response. Get response is the email software that I use to your name chief so you can collect emails and set up your automations and get all that affiliate income going on. So first thing you want to do is to go sign up for get response. I'll leave a link down in the description. You get 30 days free trial for get response for the free account. You get up to 500 emails. So you don't have to even have to worry about, you know, running out of space because chances are you're not going to get 500 emails in your first month anyway, but let's get right into it. So here we want to go into our uh, lead pages account. You want to go into the menu section and on the left hand side, you see something that says integrations. So you want to click on integrations and you want to click on connect new account. I already had a get response account connected, but I'm going to try to connect another one just so you see how it's done. So at this point, I want to imagine that you have already signed up for your get response. You have put in your email, you've confirmed your email. So what you want to do is to go where it says tools. You click on that and at the very bottom, there's a the, there's a section where you have integrations and API. So you click on that and here you have integrations, Zapier, callback, custom apps. We don't need all that. What we want to be focused on is the API. So here you want to generate a new API. I already had one generated, but I'm going to generate another one. So you generate API key. Okay. So you want to name your API key. I'm just going to name it LP2. Generate that. And I'm going to copy the API key. You copy that and you go back to name cheap. So once you click on get response, it's going to ask you to paste your API key. I'm going to paste that. I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to name it GR1. So get response. So connect, boom, it's as simple as that. So now you've connected your get response to your lead pages. But what you want to do in get response is to go to contacts and you want to create a list. Now your list is your email list. This is how you identify your list from every other list that you have. You may have up to, I don't know, however many lists you want to have. So what you want to do is create a list and I'm just going to name this test list. Create that. That's going to be useful in just a second. I'll show you. So now you want to go back to your landing page. This is how you connect the emails that you get to your get response. So you go to your landing page, the test landing page that we did earlier. You click on that and this is what you do once you do that. All right. So this is the landing page. It comes up and what you want to do is go to pop up. You edit your pop up and you click on edit integrations. So when people come here and they're putting their information into your form, what you want to do is you want them to, you want lead pages to send that information to get response. So you want to go to integrations. So right now it's going to notify you every, every time someone signs up, it's going to come to your email, but you want to add another integration. So now we have get response and get response one GR one, the one that we just created. And that's the one I'm going to select. It's going to automatically populate. It's going to come up automatically once you've created it. So you go there. So now I'm going to refresh that to make sure that we have all that. Now, this is the list, the list that we created where we want those emails to go to, because sometimes you have multiple landing pages and you don't want those emails to get mixed up. That's why you want to create a separate list for every landing page that you have or for every uh, or for every different business that you're trying to generate leads for. So right now you can see test list is already listed as one of those lists in there. So when anybody signs up, the name and phone number, I mean, whatever information you collect is going to go into the test list and not into any other list. So you click on that and that's done. So you click on next, next, and you save and you close. So it's as simple as that. So now we're going to test that landing page to make sure that the emails that we collect are going into that list that we created on get response, go to the page. I'm going to enter my name and email. This is a fake email. It's not going to go through. It's, 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 it's an email that I used to have a long, long time ago. So don't even try to. All right. So thanks for signing up. Okay. So now we're going to go to get response and I'm going to refresh this page to see that we have the email inside of my test list. Boom. As you can see right here, the test list has one email in it. Let's see which email is it right there. So my email, as you can see, origin, where it came from, it's from the API. So that is how you connect your get response to your lead pages. 
now i will talk about how you can set up your automations but it's really straightforward but if you want me to talk about on this channel i can do that as well but these are the three main things that you need to put in place in order to start collecting those leads and also another important uh, piece of that puzzle is how to start running ads so you can start generating leads as you can see right here this is the ads that i'm running right now i run a five to ten dollars a day and i'm generating a lot of leads even though right now uh, Facebook is not really um, tracking everything. Facebook says that you know this this campaign right here has only generated 19 leads. But if we come here to landing page for that exact um, thing, it's generated twice that amount. So 38 leads, even though Facebook is recording 19 at 54% conversion. So let me know if you want to see that um, part of the. The process how you run ads so you can start generating leads it's probably important that i make it but i want to make that in a separate video so you can grasp the full concept because it's going to be a long one and i just want to break down everything in such a way that you understand so let me know if this has been helpful and if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel consider doing that right now if you have any questions about this whole process let me know down in the comments i'll be more than happy to make a follow-up video or explain to you the best that i can my name is Daniel and I will see you in the next video.